Alright, so we have a problem here. Um, this gal was totally stout. So you can see that. She... Something just happened and the others were just really aggressive for some reason, just overnight. This is what happens overnight. I checked on them at 6 o'clock last night. And I came out this morning at 7. And she's just totally, totally scalped. So I am going to show you how I take care of that and um, how we can get them to fill in a whole lot better pretty quick. So let's just do that. It's a good thing that she's trying to struggle to get out. That means that she still has a lot of life left in her. And I mean, I'm looking at her eyes and you can tell she's really weary. Um, but she is still pretty active. So that's that's a good thing. You definitely want to look out for that. And make sure they're not um, that they're not having issues with their with their energy. You just want to make sure that they're still, <laughs> you know, mostly alive. But so she's doing actually pretty good with her energy. So let's just um, start working on that head, and I'll show you exactly what I do. All right. So the first thing. Oh, she's going a little crazy. First thing that we need to do. I'm going to grab some saline, if I can get it open, and I'm just going to put it over her head. It looks like it's dried, so it's been, it's been, uh, she's been hurt for probably most of the night. We just need to wash it off. She's not going to like this. It's pretty cold. Let's just get that all over. Okay, that's probably good. And then, I've got some... I've got some saline solution with warm water and just a little bit of lavender oil to help with the... Make sure there's no bacteria in there. A little bit of tea tree oil. So we're just going to grab a cotton swat or a cotton pad. Just going to dip it in there. Swirl it around. Oh, it's gone a little bit cold, but just make sure it's... Yeah, she's not gonna like this, but it's okay. It's gonna it's gonna get a whole lot better. Just wanna make sure we really clean it off. Just get that real clean. This is definitely not the worst case that I've seen, um, but it's still pretty bad and it hurts her a lot. So I'm just gonna keep cleaning that off. All right, that's good looking pretty good. Okay, if I can get this open. Oh, okay. I'll hopefully this. I've got this beeswax salve right here. And it's got some herbs in it and it's really soothing and so I'm going to take some of that and I'm just going to rub it on her scalp. This is really good to help the healing process go a lot faster. So, she has a lot of life left in her, so that, that's really, really good. She's not been, hasn't been beat out of her yet. She's going to rub that on it. And for the herbs that are in the salve, Aubrey, what are the herbs in the salve? So the herbs are a mixture of calendula and St. John's wort and Comfrey. Comfrey is a contact healer, so whenever it comes in contact with something that needs healing, it immediately starts healing it. There's lavender, which is soothing. Calendula is a very soothing herb as well, with some other soothing herbs, but I'm not going to say because it's a special recipe. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's got beeswax, right? Which yeah, is beeswax. It's really, um, it's medicinal and, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's moisturizing, isn't it moisturizing? It's good for good for skin, so looks like she's calming down a little bit. Let's grab a little bit more. Yeah, I just want to make sure you get it everywhere. It looks like her ear a little bit. I don't know if you can zoom in anymore right there. But her ear is bloody on the inside as well. I don't know if you can see that. So that could cause different problems, you know, if she gets blood down in there or if, or if it's, uh, you know, bloody, but we'll, time can only tell, so we just got to wait and see. Okay, I think that's probably good. I think we've got a good amount on there. 
All right, so the last thing that we have to do is I've got to go get a, uh, a solution that I made, and it's just a little bit of cane sugar with some electrolytes to help her kind of rejuvenate and help her grow back her scalp, and it does calm them down as well. So let's, I'm going to put her, separate her, and keep her in a different cage, and we'll run and go do that. Okay. All right, so the things that I have here is just a glass of warm water and then some trace mineral drops to rehydrate the quail. And then I've got some raw cane sugar here and then just a cup that I'm going to put it in. So what we're going to do is just put a little bit of cane sugar. You don't want too much. And then put some of the trace mineral drops in here. And then I got to grab a lid. All right, we got a lid here and we're just going to just shake it up to dissolve the cane sugar. And cane sugar does have potassium in it. Raw cane sugar does. And so that's good for the quail as well. We want to just completely dissolve it. Alright, so the cane sugar is dissolved and we're just going to take this out here with the container and I'll show you what I do and where I put it. Alright, so I'm just going to Put the little container right here. It stays pretty good underneath there. And just pour some in. This is also going to have a calming and soothing effect on her too. And then I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put this aside and use it for later. So that'll that'll be really good for her. Oh she looks so sad. Alright, it's been 24 hours since we treated the quail for her head injuries and we're just going to go check on her and see how she's doing. Seeds are doing really good. They're looking great and they're growing big. Really cute knife. <laughs> okay. Alright, here she is. How you doing? Let's look at her head here. Looks like she's doing pretty good. Yeah. Her eyes are looking good. She's looking a little more alive today. And her head is not bleeding at all. It's definitely dried up, so that's good. She looks like she's doing really good. Let's go check on the others in the cage and make sure they're doing good, too. Alright. Let's see here. Looks like we're doing good. Yeah. Okay, we have any eggs down there? Mm, nope, doesn't look like it. That's okay. But these guys, these ladies all like each other and that's good for some reason. There just was an issue with one of them and but they're doing pretty good right now, so that's good good news. One thing that I forgot to mention yesterday, uh, the sugar water that I give my quail when they get hurt just encourages them to drink more. That's mostly the reason why I put it in there. And so that they can get those electrolytes into their body so they can rehydrate themselves. Second thing was with the wax salve, it kind of acts as a sealant and so it prevents bacteria from getting on their heads and infecting them further. And so I really like it for that. <laughs> One of them is being really loud right now. <laughs> anyway, yeah, she's missing her friends. Anyways, uh, yeah, we'll just check on, we'll check on her again tomorrow and see how she's doing. Alright, so it's been two days since the quail had that head injury. And we are going to go check on them in the greenhouse. Go check on her and see how she's doing. Check on the others, make sure they haven't killed each other yet. So let's head right over there. Alright, let's see if you can see that. She's moving really fast, which is a good sign. All right, it looks like she's doing really good. Yeah, her head is looking, it's looking pretty healed. That is good news. I think she's gonna be totally fine. Yeah, what do you think? Well, it looks like her head is healing pretty well. It's starting to become a more natural color. And that's good.
All right, so her head is healing really good, and she's looking like she's getting a lot healthier. So that's good, and I would say that this is the end of the video. So thanks for watching, I guess, and uh, hopefully you don't get too many quail injuries, but if you do, that this helps you, and you can easily heal them. So we'll see you later.